I really like the next myth because this is probably the biggest one that I find people who don't understand how marketing advertising works. And that is... Uh... Rotor Estate Root from the Anderson Valley. Like a nun's... Cheers, and thanks for coming on the show. Cheers. That advertising persuades people that the product is better and that they should buy and somehow it forces them to buy. Now, the science of advertising itself I think is still in the early phases because advertising is very slippery. But what we do know of the science of advertising so far is that it's a weak force, but it's usually applied very weakly. It's used very poorly, so it's even weaker than it could be. And that's because people believe advertising persuades that I go out there and I do an ad and it showcases how much better my champagne is. Or, and it turns out that the science seems to be showing us, it's not definitive, that in general, what advertising is doing is first and foremost, reminding you that the brand even exists. That's one of the first jobs of advertising because most people forget there's thousands of brands now, there's too many brands. The second thing that advertising does is create maybe a positive feeling about a brand. You know, do I, I feel good about it or bad about it? Is, is Julia Roberts in the ad, you know? And if Julia Roberts is in the ad, I'm gonna feel pretty good about it because I feel good about Julia Roberts. The third thing, uh, which a brand does, advertising also helps create a kind of common knowledge of what a brand is. So for instance, if I show up to your house, John, and I'm bringing a really weird bottle of champagne that you've never heard of, who knows what you're gonna think of it? But if I show up to your house and I've got Veuve Clicquot with that nice, beautiful orange label, and it comes maybe even in the box, it's Veuve Clicquot. You know what it means, I know what it means, and I know what you know that you know what it means. So it, become, it becomes a shared piece of symbology in our relationship. And that's frankly why Super Bowl ads are important still and why uh, several people have said, and I think rightly so, no one seems to have really built a global brand doing one-to-one -one personalized advertising and social media. So it needs to be public and there's a public element of advertising that creates the shared meaning. So again, the, the science is still new, but the science of advertising itself seems to suggest advertising doesn't persuade. You should stop trying and it frees you. You, you don't have to try to persuade. It's a lovely freeing feeling. Oh my God, I don't have to persuade someone that my product is better. I mean, if it is, that's cool. But the job of advertising is not to persuade. And that's a big myth. Because that's exactly the way it's sold by agencies. It's like, well, we'll do this brand campaign and we'll persuade people to buy and you'll get sales as a result. <laughs> like the science says pretty much all of that statement is wrong.